Seventy T reviews. The milkman, the paper boy, evening tea. Kid, don't sell your tea so soon. Tea. Tea. As a heart, as a heart, a hand to hold on to. Tea. Tea. Tea reviews. Tea review. Tea review. Well, folks, we're back. Another day. Another tea. Uh, and it's another another one of the Tazo teas. We're going through our, uh, our buy the cup teas, which are just they're just a bunch of Tazo teas. Um, and today, folks, we're looking at Tazo Passion. Uh, that's a, a trademark rates reserved there. Was that guy? Yeah, little rights reserved. They, they, they've trademarked passion. Unfortunate for the rest of humanity. Um, let's take a look at the ingredients here. Uh, and and uh, and I'll admit here, I, I did I did sneak a peek at the ingredients ahead of time. I don't have much high hope for this tea, uh, and you'll soon find out why. Uh, number one ingredient, hibiscus flowers, natural flavor, citric acid, licorice root, orange peel, cinnamon, rose hips, lemongrass, remember that's what's in that, uh, the bug spray, uh, hi and, uh, finally hibiscus and elderberry extract for color. Um... So what what concerns me here is I see I see hibiscus as the number one ingredient here, uh, and he also got some hibiscus extract that it says is purely for color. Um, hibiscus is a very bitter uh, tea ingredient. I've I've had that. I think I've had pure hibiscus tea, and it is very bitter, uh, very unpalatable. Um, uh, so uh, he, it even mentions here right, the, the hibiscus, orange peel, rose hips, um, and in fact, it, the, 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 a lot of these ingredients, um, you know, I like to I like to call them the kind of the filler ingredients: hibiscus, rose hips, lemongrass. I never really see them uh, on their own. They're always kind of like mixed in. You know, you'll you'll buy like the you know honey brush banana, and there'll be like rose hips hiding somewhere in the ingredient list just to kind of fill it out or maybe fix the flavor a little bit. Um, so, it, you know, as a consequence, I don't actually know what lemongrass actually tastes like um, or, or rose hips or anything like that. I think they're, they're kind of more on the, the bitter side of ingredients. Um, but but on, the, on the, the last tea that we tried, the, the, the Tazo, I think it was like sweet orange or whatever, almost the same exact list of ingredients, you know? The hibiscus, the rose hips, the lemongrass, um, and I, I did not, I did not enjoy that one. That one ended up getting dumped. Um, so I, I have a rather, uh, I have low expectations going into this one. I'll say that. Um, I'll, I'll also mention when, when I opened, I, I gave it a, you know, I got a, a bit of an aroma initially uh, when I opened up the the tea bag, and. Um, and I said, ooh, it smells rather pleasant. Got my hopes up a little bit. But then I gave it another whiff, and an, oh, it, it like a strong potpourri. So, um, I, I take that for what you will. Um, I should mention five minutes of steep time. And mentioned, it says five here. Went with five. Um, two tablespoons of sugar. As per the usual, that's what we've been going with. I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know if it's gonna handle it. Um, I don't know if it's, I, I, I was, thinking uh, on this five minutes here i was thinking about actually doing it for four minutes because i feel like i've had better luck with the with the four minutes especially with all these 
kind of bitter ingredients in it uh, might make it a bit more palatable the lower steep time but I'm, I'm sticking with it that's it's, I'm sticking with what it says on the thing so it's five minutes going with five minutes um, I will say the, the the coloring here that they said the elderberry and the hibiscus it certainly did have an effect on it you know that other tea with basically uh, most of the same ingredients uh, it was a lot lighter. This one, this one's a lot darker. Um, all right. Well, no more, uh, no more delaying. Let's let's jump into it. Hope hope for the best. Uh, prepare for the worst, as they say. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's give it give it give it a second sip here. Mm. Okay. Okay. I mean I think I think it's honestly surprisingly better than the one yesterday. Um But it's a little bit strange because it almost tastes like, you know, maybe like a blueberry flavor to it, but there's no blueberry in it. Like kind of a kind of like an, an me a, a, a an, an unripe blueberry. Um or less than ripe blueberry. It's it's not too bad. You know, we'll go in unprecedented third sip here. Mmm. Mmm. It is right on the... It's right on the cusp there. Uh, of, of getting dumped. It's not terrible. But it's not good either. It's 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 like right in the middle. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm I'm giving it a five five out of ten. Uh, I think it. I'm I'm probably not going to dump it. I'll probably finish it. Um. So you know it's it's better than whatever the sweet orange whatever thing was. Uh, last time this one, this one eking it out. Still got dumped, but I'm I'm sticking with five out of ten. Five out of ten. That's that's where it belongs. Not not terrible, not great, just five out of ten. Uh alright. Well we'll call it there. Uh ah, T O's.